What's up everybody and welcome back to 3 Sided Box Prediction Center here for the NFL Week 12. Holy shit. We're gearing up for the, the final home stretch here. I am your host David. This is Michael. We are the dumb NFL analysis that don't know shit about the Analyst. NFL. Analysis, sis, sis, analyst, whatever. I can't speak words. Uh, school has ruined my life and so have my jobs. And fuck you. To my specific and manager, just fuck, just fuck fucked by the bank. And fuck by the bank, so fuck all of you. Life sucks. Anyways, let's jump into it. Thursday night. Oh, wait, before I begin. Uh, down below, description below, all the times, all the matchups. Click on the matchup you want to watch. It's all there. Thursday night fo <coughs> football. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans. Uh, we got the uh, Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit play the Lions. We got. Uh, should be a good matchup. You got an NFC North matchup right here. Uh, two teams battling out for the I guess top of the division. Uh, I know the Vikings though. I think that they're uh, offensively they're they're playing well. Case Keenum's playing well. They're doing good play calls, run the football pretty well, and uh, their defense is just nasty. So uh, I got them coming out, but in a close one. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Vikings too, cause. I don't know. Uh, the point. Lions, other than when they played the Eagles on Thanksgiving like two years ago, they don't seem to win many games on Thanksgiving for some reason. But uh, They killed us two years ago, the week after we went to our first NFL game where we watched the Bucks kill the Eagles. But anyways, that's a long time ago now. And then after we beat the Pat Patriots. Somehow. Some, exactly. Um, In Fox, bro. So we both got the Vikings winning this one. Let's move on to the next Thursday matchup. All right, so next up, we got uh, the classic Thanksgiving 4 o'clock game. We got... The San Diego, sorry, Los Angeles Chargers. I, I did not intend to do that. The Los Angeles Chargers heading into Dallas to play the Cowboys. Your arch rival that you killed last week. Who do you got? I'm going to pick the Chargers to win this one. Uh, Cowboys uh, are, are uh, not the same team all of a sudden. People say it's because they don't have Zeke. Uh, I thought it was because their O-line was just amazing. They could have anyone anywhere behind them. Clearly, you know. I was proven right again, and uh, you know everyone could go eat a big fat dick. So I'm gonna pick the Chargers because fuck the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, I disagree. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. They uh, they got humiliated on their home turf last week. They got a nice uh, dose of reality when it came to the division that it's basically out of reach. Uh, yeah, uh, but I I mean look the the Chargers killed the the Bills. They got a good team, but they're such an off and on team, like they could kill a good team and then lose to a really bad, I don't know. I, I like the Cowboys in this one, I think they're going to be able to run the ball, and uh, yeah, I think they're going to have extended drives, just uh, try to wear out the clock, do you know, kind of what they've been doing the past two years. Right, next game. Alright, next up we got the um, uh, two other idiots in my division, we got the Giants uh, heading into Washington with the Deadskins, who you got? Uh, I got the Redskins in this one, I think they're, uh, they're a good team. Uh, uh, shock of the year right there. Uh, uh, um, Giants, uh, even though they, they beat the Chiefs last week, let's just call it what it is. It's basically just the Chiefs being the Chiefs. Choking as they usually do. Uh, but the Redskins are just a better team, in my opinion. Um, they have more potential. And uh, yeah, I think they're going to go on to win this game. Uh, I'm going to pick... This is always Flip tough. a coin. When my division playing against each other, um, a tie. I don't know. Things be really funny. I'm actually gonna pick uh, the Redskins to lose this game. I'm not gonna pick a winner. I'm just gonna pick a loser. Okay. So that's my pick. Uh, it would, how funny would it be if the Giants all of a sudden went on a little win streak after calling out their head coach, making the decision to fire him even harder, mm -hmm. and then potentially not firing him at the end of the year. That would be so fucking funny. Oh my god, Ben McAdoo, I'm going to start a, p a petition to keep him in New York forever. Yeah. Uh, he's the Michel Terrier for all the hockey fans out there of the NFL. Mm -hmm. well, actually, that might be Jason Garrett, but he's, they're all within the same realm of uh, uselessness. Terrible coaches, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm picking the Giants to... Uh, sorry, the Redskins to lose, so next game. All right, so next up, uh, we got the Buffalo Bills heading into Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Make your pick. Um, pick the Chiefs. Uh, both teams are in a bit of a slump. The Chiefs are being the Chiefs, and the Bills are being the Bills. It's that time of year for Buffalo where the season just falls to fucking pieces, and 
The whole Tyrod Taylor thing bit them in the ass literally less than half a game in. Uh, so good on you guys. Uh, Andy Reid will face his former defensive coordinator, Sean McDermott, and Andy Reid will also face two of his former draft picks, uh, Jordan Matthews and LaShawn McCoy. So, did he draft Jordan Matthews? I think so. Yeah, it's one rookie year. year, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, Andy Reid's a genius and they're going to get back on track. So, Andy Reid and the Chiefs for me. Yeah, uh, as you said, at this time of year where the Bills fall off a cliff, uh, so uh, it's a pretty easy pick for the Chiefs, even though that they. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they're such a good team, but like, there's just something off with that team every year that I don't know. It's Buffalo. No, not about the Chiefs. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna pick the Chiefs anyway. So. Next game. Next up, we got a divisional matchup: AFC South. We got the Titans and the Colts in Indianapolis. Are you gonna say? Yeah, yeah. we'll go. Ahead. That's me leaving it off to you. Oh, go ahead. Okay, okay. Just making, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, I got the Titans on this one. Uh. Colts suck. Yeah. I'm going to pick the Titans as well because the Colts uh, suck. And Jacoby Brissett is, I don't know if he's playing because I know he was in concussion protocol. So, even more reason to not choose the Colts. Next game. Alright, so we got uh, our first irrelevant bowl of the week, I think. Uh, we got the Cleveland Browns heading into Cincinnati to play the Bengals. Um, the Battle of Ohio. Battle of Ohio, the Battle of CB versus CB. Yeah. The Battle C of CB, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not 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 Brent Seabrook. That that guy's a winner. Uh, Battle of the Oranges. Um, Paul Brown. I'm gonna both pick. Teams. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Bengals because they're slightly less shit. That's good analysis. I got the Bengals too. Uh, the Browns, uh, I think, might break the record. Might might tie the record. Excuse uh, so you me. You can't break that one. That, yeah. That's an unbreakable. Unless they ever expand the season to 18 games. Mm. So, and the Browns probably will be the first team to do that. So, uh, Bengals for both of us. Next game. Uh, next up, we got the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers head to uh, Atlanta to play the Falcons, who have a new parking lot now that they've destroyed their old stadium. Yeah. So, uh, a lot more parking space over there for the tailgaters, I, I guess. I don't know. I'm making a joke. Go ahead. Um, I got the Falcons. Uh, Bucks are... Uh... I don't know what should have been a like I I put like Bucks as like this probably one of the more disappointing teams of the year along with my Raiders of course uh, two Pirates uh, you know the, sh the ship is sinking that's all I'm gonna say and uh, I got the autumn wind I got a pirate this year I got I got the Falcons soaring above them Get it. uh sure I'm gonna pick the Falcons too because the Bucks suck and it's crazy how bad of a year they're having and. Uh, who knows what's in store for them? But they they ain't eating those W's. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Next game. Next up, we got an AFC East matchup. We got the Miami Dolphins heading to Foxborough to play the New England Patriots. I'm picking the Patriots. I will too. They're coming along really well, and uh, they should go fuck themselves. But they're still good. They're finally doing their jobs on defense. So, and they're the fucking Dolphins. So. It is divisional. Anything could happen. And the the Patriots do lose that odd one uh, every few years. This could be the one, uh, but I doubt it. Next game. All right. Next up, we got my matchup, and I announced last week that there was a special announcement. Uh, we will be at the game, and the game I'm talking about is the Bears, who come from the great city of Chicago, are going to be in the next great city of Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Bears Eagles. We will be there. Who you got? Uh, I got the Eagles on this one. Um, primarily just because I, I don't want to see uh, the Eagles lose uh, again again <laughs> when we go live. So uh, so let's hope for the best. Yeah, because just uh, like I said before, we were at the game where they played where they put the Bucks and. Uh, but you did have Mark Sanchez. So that, that's Mark Sanchez game. and Chip Kelly. And Chip Kelly. I always forget about that yeah. one. Uh, so yeah, uh, obviously I can't pick, but uh, you know, a ten and one sounds pretty fucking good. Hopefully we get it. For those of you who will, be, who will be watching and actually give a shit about us, uh, we will be uh, towards one of the end zones in like the middle part of the stadium, but towards one of the end zones. And uh, we're going to bring a Canadian flag, so I don't know how many of you are going to be there from Canada on Thanksgiving weekend and Black Friday weekend, but we will. Uh, so uh, let's see what happens, guys. Uh, we'll wave to the camera if they're on us. Next game. Next up. 
we got a really boring matchup. We got the Carolina Panthers sending New York to play the Jets. Wow. Go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll pick the Panthers just because the Jets are slightly worse. Even though the Panthers have been pretty good lately, ever since we beat them. Um, I still think they're not going to be that great. Them Jets are shit, so they, they're going to win this week, but we'll see. So, Panthers. I actually have the Jets in an upset just for the fuck of it. Just to, like, put that out there. Johnny's pick. Yeah. All right. In, in, in homage of Johnny. Yeah, yeah, wherever you are. Next game. Next up, we got uh, another divisional matchup. Uh, NFC uh, West. We got the Falcons. Sorry. Seahawks heading into uh, San Fran to play the Niners. Well, it's basically going to be a home game for those loyal Seahawks fans. Uh, is it Seattle South? It basically is. So, so the Bay Area, Seattle South? No, ju just just Santa Clara. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got Seattle winning this one. But the Niners tend to always like make it a close game, like 20-7 to 7 or something like that. So it's going to be a boring game. If it was in St. Louis, I'd definitely pick... Not the Seahawks. Not the Seahawks. So I got I got the Seahawks. Uh, they're uh, they're gonna win this game. Yeah, I'm pick the Seahawks too. Fuck the Niners. Uh, they're a joke. Uh, even though they've been playing slightly better ever since you know the last two weeks basically. So they, they did give you the humor of beating the Giants. So they did, and that was pretty. Fun. That's a good gift. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's it. Next game. Next up, we got what uh, would have been a really boring matchup last year, really bad. What turns, what will turn out to be probably one of the better matchups of the year. That's the New Orleans Saints heading into Los Angeles to play the Rams. What do you got? Uh, well, the Rams did lose last week to the Vikings. Uh, another pretty solid matchup. Just funny, the Rams got the Vikings, the Saints, and then us next week. That's three, uh, or sorry, are we playing them in two weeks? Yeah, it might be two weeks from now. Uh, regardless, it's still like pretty big matchups to have within a month. Um, I'm going to pick the Saints. I, I don't know. They, I just feel like they got the ball rolling a little bit more than the Rams. Their their wins are a little more believable. But they, they, they made that crazy comeback last week against the Redskins. Like, well, 10 points. I wouldn't was... call it a comeback. I'd just say they just won the game because they don't, no, no lead that the Redskins ever have is safe. So, yeah. uh, regardless, I'm going to pick the Saints. Uh, the Rams are pretty good, but I think we're going to start seeing them fall off a little bit and start coming down a bit to earth. So, uh, and Drew Brees, so Saints. I got the Rams in this one. I know the Saints are hot, but uh, the Rams uh, are definitely a better overall team, I think, and have better coaching. And uh, I think it's going to end up uh, working out in their favor. Uh, should be a good matchup. I really like the uh, the two-headed monster that the Saints have right now, and Ingram and Kamara. Uh, yeah, it should, it should end up being a really good game. And, uh, you know, kudos to the Saints for figuring out a way to, you know, let Breeze have some, like, help, you know, like in the run game and some timely defense. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good game, but Rams for me. Next game. Uh, next up, we got the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars heading to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Uh, man. Can't believe, you know, like two years ago, the Cardinals were, were good and the Jags were a joke and then now it's the opposite. So, I know the Jags in this one. Uh, I don't believe David Johnson's coming back for the rest of the season, nor do I think Carson Palmer, and I basically think that, uh, whoever it is quarterbacking Drew Stan's going to throw, like, four picks, probably, like, two pick sixes, so, uh, none of which I would know of, because the Raiders still haven't gotten a pick. Uh, anyways, go ahead. I'm going to give it to the Jags, too, surprisingly. Never thought I'd say that over the Cardinals, especially not the last ten years, basically. Uh, it's a weird time in the NFL. We'll see if it lasts or if it's just a fluke on both sides of the coin for both these teams or whatnot. So we'll see what happens, guys. Next game. Next up, we got my matchup. Uh, two of the biggest jokes in the NFL going at it. Uh, that would be uh, the Denver Donkeys heading into Oakland to play uh, my horrible, horrific, embarrassing, disgusting Raiders. Uh, the Paxton Lynch led 
Denver Broncos. Uh, uh, the, the Paxton Lynch slash Bill Musgrave led Bill Denver, Musgrave. Denver exactly. Broncos. Yeah, what a how poetic is that? It you is. fire defensive coordinator, they fire their offensive coordinator. You guys, it's gonna be an unpredictable matchup. Yeah. Rookie quarterback, well, not really, but basically a rookie. Uh, versus uh, your completely dismantled, disgusting defense that does not know how to fucking cover a man if they're like dependent on <laughs> no. it. Uh, not to mention Bruce Irving and uh, Khalil Mack were not at practice. Because they needed a day off. Yeah. Get over it! It's the middle of the season. The but... Dude, okay, we, we get it. It's not his real defense. Like, like I like Norton as a person. As a coordinator, he was a fucking retard. Wait, they got a day off because they were like... Pissed off about it. Oh, what are you uh, like? Uh, are you kidding me? If th this would never happen with the Patriots, about selfish. This would never happen with the Patriots. Get your fucking head in the game or get the fuck out. Bill Belichick would have fucking cut them on the spot. Yeah, literally on the spot. It's unacceptable, man. Grow up, all right? Your friend. Maybe that's why you guys sucked because you're so fucking close to this guy because he's a player's coach. Maybe we don't need a player's coach. Maybe we need a guy like a uh, uh, Bill Belichick who knows how to coach. Yeah, instead, of, Schwartz, instead of being good friends. Yeah, the the players. Schwartz, he would, they would have fucking got cut right what away. What a joke. Anyways, uh, whatever. Make your pick. I'm going to pick the Broncos because I think their offense is going to be more unpredictable than your defense is. I think your defense has... Their, their offense has been shit, but they have the pieces to be good uh, with their wide receivers uh, where you guys have zero pieces on your uh, secondary at least. And it's fucking pathetic. So uh, I think Paxton Lynch is going to look good. And I think the Uncles are going to win. Uh, I think the key factor is that we, like the home field thing would, would come into play. Uh, problem is, like I'm not going to make a pick. I could see that happening. Uh, I could definitely see us losing. But I, I just don't see us getting swept. Like, like at the end of the season being like, oh, we got swept by Denver. Like I just don't see I think we're just two horrible teams going at it. Uh, and I don't know. I just, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, they can still turn the season around. I don't think you guys can. They definitely can't. They think they're three and seven. Well, whatever. We'll see. Next game. Next up, we got the uh, Sunday Night Football. Green Bay Packers heading into Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. What could have been a very good matchup is probably not going to be one. What do you got? Steelers uh, without Aaron Rodgers. Not much hope for uh, Green Bay. Yeah, I got the Steelers too. Uh, Green Bay's been playing surprisingly better than I expected them to be, but still not like at the level that they should be at without Darren Rodgers. So, easy matchup, easy pick. Next game. All right, so for our last game of Week 12, uh, it's Monday Night Football. That is the Houston Texans heading to Baltimore to play Ravens. Uh, who's your pick? Uh, pick the Ravens. They're both pretty shitty teams right now, and both of them not really doing anything, but... Um... Uh, the Ravens defense uh, seems to be in a better place mentally and you know physically than the uh, Texans one, and Flacco could still pull it out. And they got Jeremy Macklin, so that's always a plus. So Ravens for me. Uh, I'm disagreeing with the Texans in this one. I think that uh, Hopkins have a big day, uh, even though they're playing that stout secondary and defense overall. But uh, I think he'll have a you know decent day. So you got Texans. Texans. All right, fair enough. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for liking, uh, for like. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like bit. Uh, oh my god, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Like button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you <coughs> haven't. I can't talk. Uh, <coughs> share the video with your friends. <coughs> Holy fuck. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Comment your picks down below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. If you're gonna watch the Eagles game, look up for us. Like I said, we'll have the Canadian flag out. I'll, I'll be wearing this jersey most likely. I hope you'll do other of our friends. So, so uh, we'll see you all for week 13. Enjoy the matchups ahead, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Have fun shopping and be safe out there. Uh, and take care, guys. Have a good one.